Capricorn, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 70 Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels now let us dive right in remember this okay first and foremost always 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 you are being guided but the guidance that is guiding you or how you feel as you're being guided is the inspiration and the joy that you feel now here's the kicker if our perspective or our awareness is focused on something uh, that doesn't bring us joy and inspiration or happiness that's going to be all we see. That's going to be all we feel. So hence feeling disconnected from that guidance. That's when things start to feel very lack for us. We start to feel very lonely, very lost, very uncertain, very ungrounded. We have two queen of pentacles coming forward, one in reverse, one in the upright position. It's the insinuation that being you finding balance in life is going to be more productive than trying to force and make things happen. When you are balanced and when you are grounded and when you are living in a state of peace, that's when you're able to interpret the guidance from universe much more clearly. So it's a much more bang for buck, if you will. A lot of the times we live our lives very much frustrated with what is going on, very much feeling like we want change. We want things to change. We want, we want new beginnings, right? And the universe rep sees that you, that this change that you desire, look, it's here. Okay. Change is always here for you. But we must be the change we desire to see because it's our energy that attracts in the change that we want, you see? So instead of getting caught up in the lack of of the illusion, or the, the illusion of lack, we should say, because being feeling lack is only a perspective. It's only where your focus is going, beautiful soul. It's not actually you, right? You're not lacking whatsoever, and you're very powerful, very powerful being. And the thing is, is that your power really comes to fruition when you are loving your life and being loyal to what you love, right? And that means not letting the energies of planet Earth take you out. And this happens when we are in a weakened energetic state, when we've been spending more time focusing on areas of life that don't feel good for us. Big areas are lacking in love, lacking in passion in our current relationships, lacking in uh, money, right? These are big ones, lacking in health, right? These are like the main players. The thing is though, whenever we have something that shows up in our physical world, it's never meant for us to look at and become weakened by it. It's meant for us to be like, oh, hey, heads up, this is happening and it doesn't feel good, right? Contrast is always brought forth so that we can kind of open our eyes and wake up. You know what I mean? It's more of a wake up call than anything, right? When things aren't going well in the relationship, it's not like, oh, well, let's get a new one. It's more like, oh, there's a wake up call. This isn't, uh, this isn't, this, this, this isn't feeling good anymore. Now, sometimes, obviously, Obviously, the energy has gone out, but for the most case, you're going to attract the same person in. Now, for when it comes to money, it's the same thing, right? If you have a lack of money in your life or you would like to attract more money in your life, being ungrateful and noticing the lack of the money that you wish you had isn't going to get you there, right? So again, we have to really remain open to the fact that we desire these things and we just have to simply be in that receival mode, right? And now what we want to look again at the contrast in our life is, is just an opportunity to collect data. Something's got to change. The minute that you change your energy, that's the minute when everything flows in, right? That is truly the minute. So the universe is saying, look, if you keep pushing forward in a life that doesn't feel good for you and trying to make it work and efforting and forcing, you're going to exhaust yourself, burn yourself out. And again, there's going to be like a tower moment that happens where some big changes uh, happen in your physical reality. You're going to be questioning what's going on here. But again, it's always just a wake up call. The universe is always communicating with us. If we miss the signs, that's when big things happen, right? So that's why it's important to take time out, make sure that you are prioritizing what makes sense for you. And sometimes that means taking some space away from the day-to-day -day life of what we're used to, taking some time away from the beings in our life, taking some time away from the environments that we find ourselves in more often than not, right? Like if you have a situation in your life or an environment in your life that doesn't feel particularly promising for you or supportive for you, like for instance, if you're constantly, you know, in a 
conflicting situation. You're constantly, um, you know, fighting battles or fighting other people's battles or just, it feels like there's a, a lot of drama in your life or it just feels like you're, this is what is being attracted at this time. That is where you're going to have to take a step back, right? Take a step back, take a step out of what, of that energy, right? And reconnect to your higher self right? Because conflict is always an insinuation of disconnection, right? And when we feel disconnected, that's when we go and, 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 and engage in destructive behaviors. But the thing is, is that doesn't help anybody because you have opportunities that are waiting to flow into your life. All, you, all of your manifestations that you have already asked for, whatever they may be, your deepest, darkest desires, deepest, darkest desires, more like uh, deepest, lightest desires are already manifested. See, whenever you feel an impulse or a joy or a passion or a desire or that like that excitement, at the minute that you feel that excitement, that charged up emotion in your in your energy body, it's asked for from the universe. Universe is like, oh, Capricorn got that one. No problem. Whipping that one up, right? It, it's how it goes. And then we just have to get out of our own way and allow that to flow in. And what we can see here is that there seems to be a lot of frustration on your journey. There seems to be a lot of conflict being attracted in from that frustration. And there needs to be a, a, a raise of your vibration right now, Capricorn. That's it. And then everything will, will make its way, right? So at this time, Universe wants you to flow like water. So stop resisting, okay? Stop looking at your world. Stop looking at your life and thinking, poor me, because it won't do anything but hurt you. And we love you. We want the best for you. We want you to have everything you want. Everything you could imagine, it's yours. It already is yours. And we want you to have that and experience that. That means that whenever something shows up and it's negative, don't focus on it because it will only take away your power. It will only take away your energy, you see? So try to find balance in life. If you've been overworking or if you've been overthinking or if you've been overstressing a situation, you want to take a look at that because whenever we tend to overdo things in a certain area, um, there is a, a, a general um, uh, consensus there that that is also disconnection, right? Because whenever we are not balanced, it means that we are trying to fill a void, right? So Buddhists always say best to take the middle ground, right? But whenever we are excessively doing something, um, then it is time to take a look at that and reassess and really ask ourselves, okay, am I just trying to fill a void here, right? Am I not feeling happy? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling empty inside. I'm not feeling connected. I want to feel more connected. And generally, this is what the five of pentacles insinuates anyway, is that more connection is necessary. See, when you spend time connecting to that higher part of you, your higher self, your guides and angels, the universe source energy, ho, 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 ho. There is no need of anything. There's no lacking of anything because it is such an abundant feeling of love, abundant, uh, uh, unconditional love um, and, and, and joy and bliss and happiness that you really, it's, it, it's that feeling of not needing anything. You really don't need anything. And then at that point, when you're connected to that part of you, that higher self part of you, uh, that is truly when um, miracles start to happen in life because you're connected to unconditional love, aka being in the receival mode. You see, that's why it is so, so, so important to give yourself this space, give yourself this time and do this for yourself. Get away from environments that don't support you on your journey, right? Reclaim your independence, right? And spend some time with just yourself for the next little while and know that this will greatly, greatly, greatly help you on your journey. The minute that you start to practice the, uh, the, the art of connection, uh, that's when you're going to have receive insights. Okay. And that's where perhaps maybe if you are having a little bit of conflict in life, or attracting in a little conflict, that's where you're going to receive the clarity of how to best go about this situation and perhaps maybe collaborate with those around you in a meaningful way, in a peaceful way, in a way that everyone's going to get results. Because after all, that's what we really want, isn't it? It's just about results. It's not about being right and he said, she said. It's really just about getting results, right? But getting results in a way that represents your authentic self and their authentic self, but not coming from an ego on ego. And conflict and drama is ego on ego. And we all know that's just wounded children yelling at each other. I mean, how far is that really going to get, right? So the name of the game is spend some time with yourself. Reconnect to that part of you that is the part of you that is connected to unconditional love so that you can stand tall in your knowing and stand your ground in your knowing as well. So you don't get confused out here on planet earth first and foremost, because it is a confusing, confusing place. All these conditions and all these programs, holy moly, it is well, it's hard to believe sometimes the conditionings that get really instilled, but at the end of the day, they do. So when we do connect to our higher self, we are able to really kind of weed through all those layers and programs and filters. And then we recognize, hey, we all want the same thing. And we all want connection. We all want love. We all want um, respect, right? And and loyalty and honor. We all want these things, right? It's, it's, it's natural for us humans. So we get that when we connect to the higher part of us that operates from those, uh, those morals and from, from those... Um, beliefs, right? 
Now, this is going to segue right into your angel message of new partner. So your angels say to you, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So if there is, again, new beings entering your life, be open-minded to these new beings because this will be sent. Again, there's no coincidences here. So whenever um, there is a new relationship that is present, in, really try to look at this as, an, as a source of um, um, expansion, right? Expansion. So sometimes when we meet somebody and they come into our life, maybe it triggers a response from us to people, please. Maybe it triggers us to want to, um, you know, prove ourselves. Maybe it triggers a response from us to want to, um, you know, need to seek approval, whatever it is. Sometimes it triggers something within ourselves and we behave in a way that is out of character of our authentic self, out of character with our higher self. And so when you do have an, uh, someone that enters your life pretty uh, soon here, Capricorn, connect to your higher self. Okay. And you can even do this just by putting your hands over your heart and saying, hi, yourself, please lead me this day. Or I ask you to lead me this day for the highest good of all, right? Something just small. You can whip over to the bathroom, do it quick, but something where you call forward your higher self. That way, if you're starting to feel any triggers coming up, starting to feel yourself acting out of, out of alignment with your higher self, then you can bring forward this little, te uh, this little tool and it, it helps immensely. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.